Hey everyone, this is Peter McPhail with Lifestyle Properties of Maine. It is Labor Day weekend, September 3rd. I am in the in Willimantic Township. And I'm actually at the uh, Borestone Mountain Audubon Society Sanctuary. And we're gonna hike Borestone Mountain today. It's almost, uh, it's about 78, 79 degrees, perfect sunny day, beautiful day for a hike. When we reach the peak of Borestone Mountain, off to the east, we'll have a nice view of Lake Onawa. So let's start the hike and see how it goes today. Just leaving the parking lot, come to one of the most important parts of the hike. In case you need to hit that before you hit the trail. A couple of ways that we could go. We could take this old road or we could go the base trail. Yeah, I agree with you guys. Let's take the base trail. But two fifth, starting the hike at about 2.15 in the afternoon. Certainly there was room in the parking lot. By the time I got here, people had cleared out. The morning crowd had cleared out. So, see the blue paint on the trees? Pretty faint, but trail looks pretty decent. Then it says to register about a mile in at the pond, at the center there at the pond, and Five dollars for an adult non-member of the Audubon Society. So we will do that and when we get there. Here's the first set of set of stone steps that we're coming to. When Carson and I were in Scotland earlier this year, all the hiking trails there, everything was like stone pavers. It was interesting to see. All of you that forage for mushrooms, this is what I'm seeing coming up. Eat or don't eat? What do you guys think? I'm gonna say don't eat. So right from the get-go, elevation changed pretty quick. And I'm still amazed at the work that whoever puts these trails together, thankful whoever did this work and continues to maintain the trails. Huge thank you. But it amazes me the time and effort that had to go into all this. So I'm about 20 minutes into the hike and the elevation has let up a little bit. And I came into this beautiful spruce forest, mature spruce forest. Pretty spot here on the trail. And I'm getting to my second wind where this is flattened out some. So looking good. Okay guys, another little mushroom, eat or don't eat. Something took a nibble out of that side. Wasn't me. So just a correction on the location of Borestone. I said Willimantic. We passed through Willimantic into Elliottsville Plantation. So that's where we're at today. Not too far from Moosehead Lake as the crow flies, maybe 10 miles or so. All right, so we have Greenwood Overlook to the right, Summit Trail to the left. Let's go see what the overlook kind of view we have there for you guys. Welcome to Greenwood Overlook. We're looking southerly off the hill, off the side of the mountain here. Little Greenwood Pond. Pretty view. I did lose a fair amount of elevation taking this little detour, but visibility is beautiful today. Let's do an about face and get back on the head towards the summit trail. Okay, we're about 30 minutes into the hike. We just did the Greenwood Overlook and we're back on heading towards the summit trail. Look at the size of this monster, guys. So on the cap, something messed with the cap. Somebody kicked it. Kicked the cap right there. Eat or don't eat. It's like the size of a small pancake. So I just wanted to share with you one thing that I'm glad I invested in, and if you do any hiking at all, you will appreciate these. But I have these gaiters here that keeps keeps all these, these um, spruce needles and everything else from falling to the back of my hiking shoes. And if you were with me on, me and Carson on the Tunk Mountain hike, I didn't wear these and I gotta tell you, it wasn't real comfortable. I had to stop a couple of times, empty out my hikers and my socks were right full of needles. So, good investment. If you're going to do any amount of hiking, you'll appreciate it. 
Look at that. <clears throat> Restrooms in case you missed the first one at the parking lot. Let's head up to the sign here. It says Summit Trail Visitor Center Registration. Let's go take care of that. Just checked in and paid my $5 fee. Signed my name and the time in, date and time in, where I'm from. But I'm just going to hit the uh, Summit Trail. So after you check in, actually you're going to be able to see it. I'll try to zoom in on it for you. Right over there is where we checked in. And the trail just loops around the pond here, but I just want to give you a little bit different view of the pond before we start gaining some serious elevation. So I'm about an hour into the hike, just under an hour, and Sunrise Pond is the pond that the, you check in at, sign in and pay the entrance fee. And then I'm probably 300 feet above Elevation wise, 250, 300 feet above the pond now. And we'll continue on. And I'm expecting our next scene will probably be through the tree line. Let's see what we got. So this is the steepest section I've hit so far. We'll just climb up over these rocks. And then should be breaking the tree line here pretty quick. So we are an hour and 10 minutes in. It's time to break the tree line. Let's give you that view. And my son, this is where I found out years ago that he was afraid of heights. We hit this spot right here and he was squeezing the water out of the rocks. But not with me today. He said he sprained his ankle or something. What do you guys think? Did he really do it? I don't know. I think he did. So we're at our second metal brung here. And the other one was just down there. And like I said earlier in the video, or maybe I didn't, but this is where I found out my son was afraid of heights. Carson started squeezing the water out of the rocks when we got up here. A little Greenwood Pond, Sunrise Pond where we checked in, and Sunset Pond. Nice views today, guys. Beautiful views. So let's uh, continue on up here to the peak, see what we can find. All right, we've hit the first peak. We're gonna head up to the second one, but I wanna just show you Lake Onawa. And then we're looking across at Barren Mountain, B-A-R-R-E-N, Barren Mountain. And then looking that way, way off on the distant horizon. That's Moosehead Lake. You can't see it, but there's Greenville up that way. Ironbound Mountain. Let's see if I can zoom in, guys. I don't know. Ironbound Mountain right there. And yeah, let me continue to pan for you. That's where we came from. Down there. Let's do 360 before we finish this off here. Got a dragonfly up here at almost 2,000 feet. All right. Hope you guys enjoying the view. All right, we're going to head over to that peak. At the second peak here, where we are looking at Barren Mountain. You see the cliff edge, cliff face to that. And then behind that, we've got uh, West Baker Mountain, Elephant Mountain, and then the Lily Bay Mountains in the background there as well. So it's about five after four. Just been hanging out here at the summit and taking in the views. Get ready to head down here in a minute. All right, saying goodbye to Warstone Peak. Thanks for joining me today up the hike of Borstone Mountain here in Elliottsville Township in Piscataquis County.
just outside of Greenville, one of the many beautiful hikes in this area, not too far outside north of Dover Foxcroft as well. This has been Peter McPhail with Lifestyle Properties of Maine. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell, and we'll see you again real soon.